Hi everyone, it's Broken Girl Cosplay and I'm back from my year's hiatus. Um, health issues are still health issues, but now they're under management, so now I can return to the good old world of cosplay. So, to make it easy to come back, I've decided to stick with a more material-based cosplay, which is what I'm more comfortable with, and I'm going to do Team Rocket Go Grunt with the pink hair and... I really love battling the grunts, don't get me started on the gym leaders, I'm not really good at them. So to begin a project I normally actually draw the characters and as you can see in this book I've done it previously, I'll bring up reference photos and have a close look at what all the details I can see are. I used to originally just write down a list of what pieces of clothing I can see but then I found I would miss a piece like an armband or a headband. So then I just started drawing it, because then if I physically force myself to draw it, I can't miss it, can I? I'm no master drawer, this is more just to make my brain see all the separate pieces and the detailing. I'm someone who really tries to stick with the original seams of a costume, hence why anime and superheroes are such a pain, because they have no seams. Uh, this character does seem to have the regular seams actually, so this should be a little bit easier to make, excluding those boots. Those boots are going to be a pain. So after I've figured out what my basic shape is, I then go through my patterns and see what I have that has a similar shape or similar neckline or something along those lines to match to my costume so I don't have to start completely from scratch or find a whole new pattern online. As you can see I have a couple patterns that work for the neckline and the boots but I don't seem to have any patterns for the skirt. Now you can see I have multiples of the kind of neckline and I'm just kind of reading the patterns, comparing what would be the better option for what I particularly want. Now I actually just dug through my cupboard and discovered I already had a skirt that kind of works perfectly if I wear it sideways and give it a seam down the middle. Now the unfortunate thing about this timing is because I have that like K-mark um, tight skirt, it actually gives that really nice grey shine that the character does in, that the character does in the game. So now I really don't want to do lycra or jersey lycra for the top. So I might see if I can hit up Tiger or Kama <coughs> and try and get either just a straight up turtle, turtleneck with a similar kind of wear and I'll try and wear it out to give it that nice shine the same way the other one does because then it's closer to the representation or seeing if I can at least get as close a match as possible because um, I just feel doing because the good thing about lycra and jersey lycra is that it holds on to its like jet blackness which is really good for cosplay when you want to keep that jet black but it's bad when you want the warm look and you don't want to be bothered airbrushing um i do have a project bob in my closet right now waiting for the day that i'm willing to try um like cell shading from comic books uh, still been a bit too chicken for that since I only recently got the airbrush and I have used it minimally. Um, yeah, the only issue is now with this whole C word thing, since I heard YouTube was having issues with videos that mentioned the real world, is that I am, I have chronic bronchitis and it doesn't affect me from day to day life, but it means when I get sick, I get really sick and for really long so getting sick itself i don't mind but getting anything like the flu or the cold specifically lung colds and all that stuff just 
affect my breathing for up to two months or more based on how severe the original infection was. So I want to avoid that, which means my cosplay might be on hold. So I might try and do another cosplay that I already have the pieces for rather than just doing the Team Rocket all the way through. Um, or I might try and do my Salem wig, which I kept telling myself, you actually saw the pattern in the video just now, the pattern I bought to begin the Salem outfit. Um, so I don't really have a consistency idea going, essentially I'm just going to make bits and pieces. Like right now I'm in the middle of making a doll. I, I think she's only like my fifth or fourth doll that I've ever made. Um, having fun with her. Uh, but you know, you do multiple creative things slash uni slash work and now thanks to this whole stupid thing happening, can't really leave the house to get materials and I'm not one to buy fabric and such unless I can physically see it and see how it looks in the light because I know if it doesn't have the right particular sheen I want I'm not going to be happy with it in the photos.